Hello, this is Dr. Habib once again. In one of the previous videos, I showed you how to export 20 plots from Silvaco Ticket into CSV format for publication purposes. And let me quickly show you how to do it. So here is the code, but I'm not going to run the code once again. Uh, here is the structure, which is basically a gadium nitride based P N junction diode. And then here are the IV characteristics. Uh, so we see the Tony plot. In order to export the file, I went to file, export, and then let me name it ABC. Uh, we export it as comma separated values. So it's going to export it into CSV format. We click OK, export succeeded right so you go to that particular file here is our excel sheet <clears throat> then i plotted anode voltage versus <clears throat> excuse me anode current into origin software and here is the corresponding plot uh, from origin so this process was uh, simple and straightforward, <clears throat> but from the same video, um, it was brought into my attention that, uh, dear sir, plots obtained through the cut line process cannot be extracted through this process. And I said, correct, there is another way to do it. So let me tell you what I mean by that. So for example, here is our gadium nitride based PN junction diode. Uh, we can go to display, meshing, hit apply. You can see the meshing over here. I'm gonna uncheck the meshing once again because we can clearly see the interface. So I draw a cut line across the interface by going to tools, then cut line, I draw a cut line across the interface <coughs> and here is our absolute net doping across the interface <coughs> for the p-type layer over here uh, the doping is 10 to the power of 18 per centimeter cube and for the n-type layer which is the bottom layer the doping is 10 to the power of 17 per centimeter cube now I click on this absolute net doping plot and then when I go to file, export, and then when I try to export it as comma separated values, um, let me name it as GHI, <coughs> excuse me. So when I try to export it as a CSV file, I click OK and the export is failed. Cannot export this plot type. So it means that we can we cannot directly export uh, <coughs> plots obtained through cut line from the structure uh, using this uh, export command. So there is another way to do it. And let me show you how we can perform this. So the first thing we need to do is we click on this plot once again. We go to file, export, and I need to export it as <coughs> excuse me, Tony plot user data first. And then over here from the drop down menu, I click on displayed only. And let me name this file as a GHI. So it's going to save it as a data file. So I hit OK, export succeeded. I go to that uh, particular folder over here. And this file is saved as GHI1.dat. Then further, I go to that uh, figure once again. Um, from here, I open the data file once again, which I, which I have saved as uh, ghi1.dat. Click open. So now this is my data file, which I saved uh, as uh, ghi1.dat. So I click on uh, this plot then I go to file export 
and uh, from this drop down menu I select comma separated values and let me save it as JKL and then I hit OK and it says export succeeded and let me go to that corresponding folder once again to check if this if this data is exported as CS, CSV format <clears throat> so we can see the Excel file now let me open the Excel file and we see that the data has been saved into Excel uh, data sheet so we have the X coordinate which uh, is the depth across the interface and the Y coordinate is absolute net doping as a function of the depth and then we can further plot it into origin or um, other plotting softwares as well <clears throat> so here is how we export plots obtained through cut lines into CSV format the first thing we need to do is we first have to convert it into a data file and then we import that data file once again and from that point onwards we go to file and then export and then we can export it as a CSV file so that's it from today I hope this information was useful for you. Thank you. Take care. And I will talk to you next time. Adios.